Though it shocks me somewhat to say so, I have been a psychotherapist, or personal counselor, for more than 33 years. This means that during a period of a third of a century, I have been trying to be of help to a broad sampling of our population, to children, adolescents, and adults, to those with educational, vocational, personal, and marital problems, to normal, neurotic, and psychotic individuals. The quotes indicate that for me, these are all misleading labels. To the individuals who come for help and those who are sent for help, to those whose problems are minor, and to those whose lives have become utterly desperate and without hope. I regard it as a deep privilege to have had the opportunity to know such a diverse multitude of people so personally and intimately. Out of the clinical experience and research of these years, I have written several books and many articles. The papers in this volume are selected from those I have written during the most recent ten of the 33 years, from 1951 to 1961. I would like to explain the reasons that I have for gathering them into a book. In the first place, I believe that almost all of them have relevance for personal living in this perplexing modern world. This is in no sense a book of advice, nor does it in any way resemble the do-it-yourself treatise. But it has been my experience that readers of these papers have often found them challenging and enriching. They have, to some small degree, given the person more security in making and following his personal choices as he endeavors to move toward being the person he would like to be. So for this reason, I should like to have them more widely available to any who might be interested, to the intelligent layman, as the phrase goes. I feel this especially since all of my previous books have been published for the professional psychological audience and have never been readily available to the person outside of that group. It is my sincere hope that many people who have no particular interest in the field of counseling or psychotherapy will find that the learnings emerging in this field will strengthen them in their own living. It is also my hope and belief that many people who have never sought counseling help will find that they are subtly enriched in courage and self-confidence and that understanding of their own difficulties will become easier as they live through, in their imagination and feeling, the struggles of others toward growth. Another influence which has caused me to prepare this book is the increasing number and urgency of requests from those who are already acquainted with my point of view in counseling, psychotherapy, and interpersonal relationships.